Hello comrades, it's been about a year since I've done a video on my books and whatnot, so I figure we're due for a part two. Here we go. Alright, first book is The Foundations of Leninism by Joseph Stalin. Uh, after I read this book, it gave me a very good understanding of how Leninism functions, you know, within the party and as, as a, a theory in and of itself. And I, I was able to give me a better understanding when I would read stuff like State and Revolution, and uh, I haven't reread it yet, but I'm, sure, I'm uh, certain when I reread uh, Imperialism, then my understanding of it will be a lot better. Next up... Malcolm X, By Any Means Necessary, by Walter Dean Myers. This is a biography of Malcolm X. I did a review of this a couple of months ago. It's a very good read. Uh, I'll just link the video uh, in the description below. Next, we have The Program of the uh, Party for Socialism and Liberation. Now, while I'm pretty certain I'm technically not a member anymore, since I haven't been a uh, active with uh, one of the advisors in a while, you know, it doesn't really matter, though, because this is a good read. It is a very good uh, look at, of, uh, you know, socialism and party work and all that kind of shit. It is a good read. Next is In North Korea, the first eyewitness report by Anna Louise Strong. This is a very good look at, you know, uh, the function of North Korea and the separation of the two Korean peninsulas uh, uh, in the events leading up to the Korean War and the Cold War itself. It, it, uh, it pretty much covers post-World War II to right before the Korean War began. It's a very good read. It has very, it's a very good look at, you know, society and politics and, you know, daily life for the uh, North Korean people. Next is Cold War, A Warning for a Unipolar World by Fidel Castro. This was an interview, I think, on, uh, I think on CNN it was. Yeah, it was an interview on CNN between Fidel, Fidel Castro and whoever. But uh, it's a very good look at the events of, you know, the, the Cold War, the Cuban Missile Crisis with Khrushchev and Kennedy and Castro and talk of, like, Brezhnev and Che and shit. It's, it's a decent read. Next up is Dialectical and Historical Materialism by Joseph Stalin. I read this in the woods, and honestly, I think for some reason that helped me understand it better, because I was just in a more tranquil and calm place. But this did help give me a, a, margin, a better understanding of dialectics, you know, historical materialism, dialectical materialism, whatnot. I still need to learn some more, but this gave me a better understanding. Coming up next is The Results of the First Five-Year Plan by Joseph Stalin. I've referenced this book before in a couple of my videos. It's a very good look at the success of, you know, a socialist economy and Stalin's five-year plans in the Soviet Union. This is more of a philosophy book. This is uh, The Antichrist by Friedrich Nietzsche. I haven't read this yet. I got it at Barnes & Noble. I plan to read Nietzsche soon, just you know, out of interest or whatever for different philosophies and shit, but I don't know. I, I need to soon. I've just been putting it off to read more Marxism and shit. Next up is some more Nietzsche, Beyond Good and Evil. Also got this at Barnes and Nobles. Also have not read this yet. One day I'm going to find the time to. One day. Next up, this is the uh, most recent book that I've gotten. Uh, che for Beginners by, who is it? Ser Sergio Cine. Oh, excuse me. Sergio Cine. Uh, I haven't read this yet, but, you know, with the, the track record that the Four Beginners ha uh, Four Beginners series have when talking about, you know, history and socialism and socialist leaders and shit, I figure this is going to be a pretty interesting and a very informative read. Following up, we have Cuba for Beginners by Rius. This is a very good look at the Cuban Revolution, the events leading up to it, uh, you know, how the USA is always involved with, you know, imperialism and shit, and how they funded a lot of, you know, opposition, and they were allies with Batista, it's, it's a very good account of that. Coming next, we have The Economic and Philosophic Manuscripts of 1844 by Karl Marx. I also have, re have not read this. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I plan to. I plan to. All of these books I plan on reading. I just, you know, I can only read one at a time, and I have so much other shit going on in my life that I can't dedicate all of my time to just, you know, reading theory. And finally, we have The Critique of the Gotha Program by Karl Marx. Very good read. I've referenced this before in some of my videos. It speaks about, uh, excuse me, it speaks of how, you know, socialist society would actually function and the idea, or uh, excuse me, some kind, and it gives some kind of decent idea as to what communism and, you know, the higher stage may be like. All right, comrades, those are all of the newest books that I, or all of the books, excuse me, those are all of the books that I've uh, collected throughout the past year. Uh, if you have any recommendations for me, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm Jimmy Casual. Thank you for watching.